I do what's called my big three process. And basically it looks like this. I label an email to myself. Okay. So I send it to myself and the subject line is my big three. And underneath in the body, I list out one, two, three, and I decide on three goals that I want to work on that week. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 I want to talk to you about a habit that I've gotten into lately that I uh, would like to pass on if you're uh, inclined to follow. It's been very helpful to me. I think it might be helpful to others as well. It's called My Big Three. I want to pause here and remind you that we are sponsored by A-Now Software. A-Now, of course, is awesome. (laughs) They should call it A-Now for appraisers or Awesome Now Software because it allows me to do more. It allows me to be a business owner again and not just a technician. Check them out by going to anow.com slash coach. One more time. It's anow.com slash coach. All right, folks, I want to tell you about how I accomplish things every week. I want to start with a foundation. I've talked about it here before, but just as a reminder, I don't set New Year's resolutions. I don't because they go out the door, they go out the window, I don't know, around March, if not before. I don't set goals that will be the same goals throughout the year. I change throughout the year. Things change. Circumstances change. But in general, my trajectory stays the same. So I started years ago doing what I call a vision story process. And I usually do it sometime between, oh, Christmas and New Year's. And it basically looks like this. I turn off all technology. I turn off my children. Yes, they do have an off switch. I turn off my wife. Wait a minute. That didn't come out right. You know what I mean. In other words, I get away and I go somewhere where I cannot be bothered. And that allows me to focus. Now, during that focus time, I ask myself some pretty important questions. Those questions include, what do I want to accomplish this year? Or more importantly, the bigger question is, where do I want to be one year from now? What do I want my life to look like one year from now? And so I start with this idea of putting the date on my paper that is one year in advance. So for example, at the end of 2018... I set a vision story date of December 31st, 2019, one year in advance. And then I write the story as if it's already happened. In other words, I write it as if it is December 31st, 2019. And I say, for example, I'm so grateful that this year I have accomplished the following, or I am the following, or I have developed the following, or I am doing the following. And I write it as if it's already happened. Now, translate that into how do I get those things accomplished? Well, these are where my goals come in. And I do things a little bit differently than I've done in the past. And I want to share that with you. But first, I want to share with you how I do things a lot differently than I did in the past with A-Now Software. Now, a lot of people are going to look at A-Now Software and they're going to say, Dustin, that's just like what I already do. That's just another spreadsheet. Folks, it's not. It's not another spreadsheet. By the way, I had the same thought when they approached me. Come on, really, guys? You're going to charge me money to use a spreadsheet? I already know how to use a spreadsheet. Folks, A now is not a spreadsheet. A now is a system to allow you to manage your entire appraisal office. Check them out. Just type in www.anow. That doesn't stand for awesome now. That stands for appraisers now, now.com. And then put a slash coach at the end. You'll get a well, three months, a whole quarter of the All-Star team for free. Again, it's anow.com slash coach. One more time, anow.com slash coach.
All right, folks, we are back. We're talking today about how Dustin Harris gets his goals accomplished. And by the way, I would say on a pretty regular basis, it's pretty rare, frankly, that I don't have most of my goals accomplished every week. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Sunday night, I sit down and I do what's called my big three. Now, this is a process that I go through each week. When I say process, it's very quick. It takes about five, maybe seven minutes total. But it's something that I try to do religiously, no pun intended, since it was on Sunday. But I sit down, I try to anyway, on Sunday night, and I do this process of reviewing my vision story for the year. Okay, so it may be June, but I still sit down and say, okay, what is my vision story for this year? I'm halfway through the year. How close am I coming? What do I need to specifically work on in order to accomplish the vision story by the end of the year? By the way, you might notice a theme here. I'm making goal setting as simple as possible. I've used all kinds of goal setting systems and this is the one that works for me. Now, it may not work for you, but it's simple. That's why it works for me. Everything else is so complex that it goes out the window very quickly. I just don't keep up with it. And by the way, I've paid very expensive money for systems that haven't worked. And it's not that they're not good systems. It's that they were just too complicated for me to follow. This is a simple system. So on Sunday night, I pull out my vision story. I don't really read it. I skim it. I might read it once in a while, but I mostly skim it because I know what's there. I just need a quick reminder, the bullet points, if you will. What am I working on? So I skim the vision story and then I say, okay, what did I not accomplish last week? Do I want to roll that over? And I do what's called a keep, tweak, or leap system. Keep means I want to keep it again. This, this I didn't accomplish it last week. I want to keep it. Tweak means eh, my goal was a little off. Uh, it, it wasn't really possible, and if I just tweak this part of it, I can keep it again this week and still accomplish it, but it looks a little bit different than it did last time. And then leap means leaping away from it. So that was a crappy goal. I don't know what I was thinking. You idiot, Dustin. Let's move on to something else, okay? And all of those are allowed, okay? You can make that decision. But I want to accomplish my goals each week. There's a reason I take the time to do it. I don't want to come up empty-handed. I do what's called my big three process, and basically it looks like this. I label an email to myself. Okay, so I send it to myself and the subject line is my big three and underneath in the body, I list out one, two, three, and I decide on three goals that I want to work on that week. Now, these are goals that will allow me to stretch, but will not allow me to overstretch. In other words, I don't want them to be so wild and crazy and audacious that they won't get accomplished. These are three things that, that push me to, to do something a little bit more. For example, one of the goals this week I had was to get to the gym three times. That's it, three times. Now I'm looking at my calendar. That's going to be a stretch this week, but it can be accomplished. Another one of my goals is to record another section of my workshop that I'm currently recording. Okay, I've got to fit that in somewhere this week. That's one of my goals. All right. And at the end, I put extra credit. So I always have three big goals and then underneath the extra credit, I put something else. So for example, this week, my extra credit is to find a random act of kindness to do. Okay. So I'm on the lookout this week on a regular basis. I look at my goals and I think, oh yeah, I got to find a, a, a place that I can serve somebody else, or I've got to make that opportunity. Okay. There's somebody in my neighborhood that is an older couple, couple that always needs help. And if I can't find any other option, I'm going to go to them and say, hey, what can I help you with tonight? Okay. So that's my goal. Three goals and one extra credit goal that, you know, if I get to it, great. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. And then each day I look at it in the morning as part of my morning routine. And then I snooze that email to the next day. So I don't see it the rest of the day. Or if it's something I need to accomplish in the afternoon, I might snooze it to the afternoon. Okay. Again, I like a clean inbox. But every morning, my big three pop up. And every day I get an opportunity to work on one more or one and a half more of those goals so that I can accomplish it all the way. Okay. Those are my big three. Thanks for joining me, folks. Catch you next time. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value. what's called a, t, a, 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 a tweak, uh, sorry, editor, let me start that over.
a, 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 um, uh, a an email. <laughs> I label it. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> I'm trying to go full, too fast. I got an appointment to get to. Can you tell? Start over, editor. Sorry. One more time. <laughs> 